All right, so we got a Patreon member here. He says, uh, KB, my brother, love the red pill, red pill tear content. Uh, I have a question about a situation I'm in. I use a lot of your sauce to game this girl back in April. Recently, I figured out uh, her ex came back into the picture and they're either back together or talking again. Right now, I'm on her back burner because she wants to keep options. She wants to keep the option open with me. I'm in the process of implementing uh, your how to get out of the friend zone videos, gaming girls with uh, boyfriends and building sexual tension. Should I have done a better job with her uh, and polarizing did this with her, but should have done a better job with it uh do you have any other videos i think i should implement into any strategy or game to get uh to game her back i added some content i had some context about her relationship below uh, in may and june we continue but i noticed she started to pull back a bit at the end of june or july uh we were on the phone she told admitted to being into interest last time i'm literally reading this word for word <laughs> uh but can't give me what she wants right now because her ex is back in the picture without telling me directly she implied she wants to keep me in her life for now as a friend i told her i don't do platonic friends but we can keep in touch. She still answers me and even had a sexual conversation with me. So I know I can get her and play her cards right. Uh, I apologize for the long message. All right, well, since this, one thing I want to say is sometimes when somebody gets with, with an ex or gets back with an ex, those are one of the, sometimes one of the things you really can't really do much about. Um, because sometimes that they have that connection, they've built tons of rapport. They've probably been together for years. They've probably been through a lot. So a lot of the times it's not really much you can do about that. Um, but it seems as if in this situation, she does want you. So what you have to do, you have to exercise your options. Obviously all the things that you mentioned, they can help, but what you need to do is actually talk to other girls go on dates you know put put up a private story with a whole bunch of girls that you want to make jealous or exes and make sure she's in there show yourself on dates show yourself with girls uh even if you're just posting pictures and this you're not even really on the date if it looks like a date still someone else picture that you know very ambiguous to where it looks like you're just on a random date and it could look like there's other girls you know uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do to make her want you also, stop texting her. Make sure she follows you on social media. She sees that you're having fun and living life without her. And then that'll create that anxiety. You are clearly too accessible. And also, there's a lot of different things that I would need to know about you guys' dynamics to even understand how you got yourself in that situation in the first place. Like I said, um, there's always the thing of the ex has a, a so much rapport and so much of a connection built already with the girl that it's not really much you can do about that. Sometimes that is the case. But also, it sounds like maybe you were doing some things wrong because you did admit to messing some things up. So I would like to know what what really happened and uh, what you really did wrong. Uh, so if you really want further details, I would suggest getting on a call. But yeah, um, those those are some answers for you or if anybody else dealing with a situation like this and that's really how you want to handle that and don't be so accessible take away your attention stop talking to her stop messaging her she has to understand that your attention is valuable and she needs to know that and she needs to respect that uh and and there's no way for her to value your attention if you're consistently always talking and putting you on the back burner and you knowing you're on the back burner that's like saying you're an option you're second to my number one how do you feel about being second to somebody else? No, you should always want to be number one. That should always be the primary option. And honestly, if somebody gets back with their ex, okay, cool. You know, I, I mean, I've been in situations like that where I don't really take the girl serious and I'm gaming her and I just, she may think that I want her. But like, I got mad other girls. I got a whole, you know what I'm saying? Got a whole like collection, you know? So, you know, I'm just like, you know, messing around with her because it's fun for me. But if you really want her back, that's how you need to exercise. That's how you need to move as if she's nothing, she's not that important and you're just exercising options.